y'all. I, Rick Sky here, and this is a video response to Michael. And Michael said, hey, how can I force compressor to export to 5312 by 2988 5.3K HEVC, where I just have 2020 iMac plus FCPX plus compressor for no effing reason because it won't do with it. Okay, well, Michael, actually, I may have a solution for you, and it wasn't super easy to find. So the first thing I'm going to do, and I do have the most current Final Cut Pro 10 and compressor at the time of filming this. So I'm going to create a new project. I'm just going to call it, um, let's see, I'll say for Michael. For Michael. And then what I'm going to do is hit OK. Uh, right here it's got, uh, see where it says video set based on first video clip properties. That's super important. If yours doesn't say that, you probably need to turn that on. So we got our new project. Now I'm just going to drag down here. And you can see I've got a video here. I'm going to drag this into my project. Oh, <laughs> so see now we got options. So you can go to video when you drag it in and then go to custom. Now in your situation, you were asking for 5312. 5312 by 2988. So now the HEVC, you're going to have to look through this and see if you have that option with the clip that you're importing. So take a look at that, but go ahead and hit OK. And then once you've imported this and done performed your edits or whatever, curiously enough, when I click the properties of this clip, it was just a screen recording of my of my MacBook Air uh, MacBook Air's desktop. So it was 2880 by 1800. But since I imported and selected that setting when I did, now check this out. When you go to File, Share, and then Export File Default. Look at that. 5312 by 2988. And then you can go into settings. You could choose. Now the HEVC thing, again, I'm not 100% certain about that. There's an H.264 there. But at least we've got the 5312 by 2988, the desired resolution you wanted. So if I hit next to export, it would export a video clip in that custom size. So I hope this video helps. Um, again, Apple did a really good job of, of burying this. It used to be more front and center to where you could choose how to customize, how you could create a custom sized, uh, video, but now it's a little bit more convoluted, but there you go. Hope this video helped. Thanks again for the great question. And if you haven't subscribed, please be sure to do so and ask everybody, you know, to subscribe too. Cause man, I want to get, I want to get this channel at the time of filming this. I want to get it past a hundred thousand subscribers ASAP. Thanks again. See you later. Hey, y'all. Captain Irix Guy here. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to subscribe. It's youtube.com forward slash Irix Guy. And ring that bell icon when you do to be notified whenever I post another video. Thanks for your viewership, and y'all have a good day.